let me show you the easiest way to add testimonial carousel to your Squarespace website. In this tutorial, we're going to go over two different techniques to create a stylish and engaging testimonial section. Our first and quickest option to add a testimonial carousel is utilizing the automatic list sections. We'll start by recreating this simple minimalist text-only testimonial slider. When we go to add a new section, you'll find a few pre-designed list sections and you can spot them by the little eye icon in the top right corner. You'll find these sections under people or testimonials. And it doesn't matter which list section you choose because we can customize them all to fit our desired layout. You'll see that in our list sections, we can't add content blocks, but we have our menu on the right where we can edit the content of the list section. As we click on edit content, you'll see a few different... Firstly, under elements, you can choose which items you wish to display. So for the purpose of our text only testimonial slider, we only want to show the title and the body. Now under design, we want to make sure we're using a carousel and then adjust all the settings for your preference. So here we only want one column displayed so we can only see one testimonial at the time and we want the text to be center aligned. Under content, you can simply paste all of your testimonials by adding the title and the description to each item. You can add as many testimonials as you'd like simply by clicking the add button. Let me just paste a few here so we have some content to work with. Okay, back to our design tab. You can choose if you want your testimonials to have an infinite scroll or if you want them to stop once you've seen all of them. Under the style settings, you can set the text sizes and if you click on the three little dots at the end, you can set different sizes for the title and for description. You can also choose to add a card behind your text so it shows up in the background of your content and you can change the paddings around it and adjust the arrows so if you want them to be on the side or at the bottom and you can choose the placement as well. Under size and space you can select the size between different elements, the content width, the alignment, the vertical padding, and position. Under the position settings, you'll see four different options. So you can choose if you want your content to be top, center, or bottom aligned, or if you want them all to align to the full size with the last option. Going back to our one testimonial display and adjusting the padding, we've created a super simple and minimalist layout to showcase your reviews. To change the colors of your carousels, of course you can use edit section and change the color based on your color themes. But if you need further adjusting within your color theme, the easiest way is to go under your style settings on the top right corner of your screen, go under color, Find the color theme you're using for your carousel, click edit and click on your list section. By clicking on your content, the settings will only show you the elements that are currently visible on your selected section. As you can see here, we can change the colors of titles, descriptions, arrows, arrows background. And if you have your card design turned on, you can also change the color of the card in here as well. Note that all the changes that you make to your color themes apply throughout your website, wherever you're using this color theme. So here are a few more examples I designed all by using the automatic list section. In this example, we enabled the image to be shown and we are using the card element. So we have a little colored background. And then in this next design, we are showcasing three testimonials at the same time, and we have our arrows at the very bottom of our section. Moving on to the second option for adding our testimonial sliders is by utilizing summary blocks. Now we normally use summary blocks to display content from collection pages like 
blog posts, products from your shop or portfolios. And in this case, we will be utilizing a blog collection. The first thing you'll need to do is under your pages, you will add a new blog page. And this is where you'll be posting all of your testimonials. I've already added some content, but let's add one more together. So click the plus icon to create a new blog post and write your title in here. Now we'll make sure to publish. And then if you click on the dots here, you'll be able to open up settings for your blog post. Now in the excerpt box, this is where you actually post your testimonial content. You can style your text right in here by choosing different font settings. And now if we go back to our testimonial page, you'll see the new testimonial automatically updated on our summary block. So this option is very useful if you're using testimonials on more than one page because they will automatically update at the same time. If you're using a list section technique, then you will need to manually add testimonials to each list section on every page. So the summary block technique can be a lot more efficient as well as allowing you more flexibility in terms of design. Okay, now under our summary block settings, we will select the page where we want to pull our content from. So select your testimonial block page that you just created and we'll make sure none of the metadata is showing. Under design, we'll make sure we've selected a carousel style and you can choose how many items you want to show per row. So based on our design here, we only want one at a time. You can adjust the text sizes and alignment. And below here, you can toggle on and off what elements you want showcased. So if you want your title visible, if you want your images, but we'll make sure our read more link is turned off so people can't go to our block collection page. We are only using that as a backend for us. If you choose to add images, you can also change the aspect ratio of your thumbnails. Just like we added a card in our previous list section testimonials, we can add a background color to our summary block. But here we have a bit more flexibility by choosing specific colors, either from your palette or something completely custom. You can add different types of stroke, stroke colors, thicknesses, or even round the corners. So like I said, this second option with the summary blocks is a lot more flexible. You can add images, you can add any other overlapping content blocks. So you can really make it your own. Now, I just wanted to quickly round up by showing you the mobile version. So here are our list sections. You'll notice that on mobile view, they all have the arrows at the bottom. But obviously, when you are on your mobile, you can also swipe through the testimonials without clicking on the arrow. And then for our summary block testimonials, you can see again that the design is a lot more customizable and you can easily resize or reorder all of your elements. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and got some inspiration for different layouts and creative ways to showcase your testimonials on your site. As we all know, testimonials are key to building trust and credibility, making them a must have on any website. If you have any questions or want more design tips, let me know in the comments. Happy designing.